Hey guys, good morning, happy Thursday. This is going to be kind of weird because I'm only vlogging two days this week. Uh, I had a vlog and after what happened in the vlog, it didn't feel right to post it. So I didn't, I just deleted all the footage, all the clips, all the pictures, all of that. So we're on to this vlog, which I'm vlogging because tomorrow I go to register for my classes at KSU and we get to tour the campus and all of that good stuff. So I figured I would start the vlog today and talk about, you know, how I'm feeling about tomorrow and then, you know, vlog tomorrow. But I'm hella scared. Like, I feel like I'm way more scared to go back to school now than I was when I went to UNCG, like, the first time. And I was moving to a whole different state. Only knew, like, one person. Well, two people. I knew my roommate. And anyway. So, yeah. I only knew, like, two people there. And I was by myself. I didn't have a car. Like, but now. And then I went back to school at um, Chattahoochee Tech. And... I was nervous, but I wasn't too nervous because I was only taking like two or three classes or whatever. I didn't think it was no big deal. Um, and it wasn't like, but now I am way more nervous and insecure about all of it. Like, and it all hit me yesterday because I went to go get um, a copy of my immunization records to send to Kennesaw. And it said I was 24 years old in four months, which means I turned 25 in eight months. And that scared literally everything just went left. I was breaking down literally every five minutes. Like, like I disabled Facebook because I couldn't take it anymore. Like what I was just seeing on there was not making me feel any better. And I just couldn't, I couldn't deal. And I still have Facebook disabled. I think I probably won't do enable Facebook for a minute just I don't know I'm just not feeling it right now but yeah I'm way more nervous than I think I've ever been in any school experience right now like this shit is scary but I'm gonna be a bundle of nerves tomorrow and I have to wake up at like 4 45 tomorrow because we have to take an ID picture which means this face has to be beat of course <laughs> so yeah and I'm still on the fence about what I want to wear and it's just it's a lot and I have to finish these damn videos for them they have like pre-ignition stuff that we need to do which is what they call the orientation ignition like the start so um yeah I have to print out a certificate I have to see if my old printer from UNCG actually works if it doesn't then I'm screwed but um yeah, today I'm running errands. I gotta go. I need soap and toiletries and all that. And then I need a bag for Tiffany's birthday gifts. Um, so I'll probably post this Tuesday and make her open them on Monday. Yeah. Okay. Remind myself to do that. But yeah, and then I want to go to Ulta really quick. And I think I'm gonna go to like Marshalls or TJ Maxx to see if they have any Anastasia stuff. And I said Ulta, right? Yeah. Okay. So... And then I have a makeup look I want to practice. It's like a spring festival look, but I have to clean my brushes to do that. Then I have to clean them again in the morning. <laughs> oh, God. But, yeah. So, that is the plan. I will see you guys at Ulta. Y'all, when I drove past this Kroger, gas was two fucking 49 and now it's two sixty five, and I don't know how to live life. Like, this is ridiculous. That throws off my whole fucking budget. Ugh. So Ulta was low-key a bust because they don't have the NYX uh, primal colors. They don't have a carousel form or anything in the NYX section. So I had to grab stuff that I think would make it work. And I don't want to tell y'all why I'm getting this stuff. I just, that's, just know I was looking for a red eyeshadow and I did not have it. But I ended up getting um, this single eyeshadow that's kind of red. And I think I can make it work. And I end up, yeah. <sighs> Either way, I blew the budget. So now I'm not going to go to TJ Maxx. I'm just going to go to Walmart and get the stuff I need. My essential stuff. And then the stuff to put Tiffany's gift in. And then call it a day. Because huh, I'm hurt. <laughs> it is, like, it's hot in the car. But it feels good outside. But it's like 50 degrees. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I'll see y'all at Walmart. Okay, since I'm such a shopping addict, I ended up going into Marshalls. I've been saying TJ Maxx the whole time, and it's Marshalls. But I went in there, and they had Anastasia. 
be a cream concert kit for six dollars my neck like six dollars but they only had the fair ones and i was really just looking just in case like my stepmom didn't get enough kits or whatever because she said she was going to get me one from west virginia and i'm going up there in may so i just wanted to make sure you know that that wasn't necessary but it's necessary they don't have our shades and the ones in there are like so swatched i i admit i swatched them myself but yeah they're like you can see where people dig their hands in it so yeah i'll just wait until i go to west virginia to contour like all the youtube pros i aspire to be like <laughs> But yeah, um, now I'm gonna go to Walmart. But I was tempted to buy that um, that concert kit because it was only six dollars. Like, come on now. But yeah, to Walmart. <laughs> hey guys, so I am back home. I'm tired. <laughs> it's only like twelve thirty. But I wanted to show you guys what I got from like all the stores and stuff. So let's get started with that. Okay, so from Ulta, I got this. It looks red on camera, so I think it'll work. I got this eyeshadow in the color Bad Seed. So hopefully it does what I need it to do. Then I got another concealer. This is their Above and Beyond Concealer or Full, full Coverage Concealer now in the color glow i got the vivid brights this is the orange one it's called what is it called oh vivid focus all right vivid delight there we go then i got a um lip lingerie because i lost this one and i'm so hurt but this is in the color exotic where is it <laughs> there it is yeah exotic this is like my favorite lip color ever i might wear it tomorrow and then i got their mechanical um eyeliner and this is just the red one yeah or retractable whatever yeah retractable and this is yeah in the color red and then this appeared in the bag. I think it's because I spent um, $20 or more on NYX products. So let me open it and see what's in here. Okay, so this is the bag itself. It says Lippy Love and it's a pair of lips and it says Exo Ulta. It's a pretty good bag. Like if I need to touch up or something, I put it in my purse. I like that. Might have to carry that tomorrow. Then, ooh, your girl got the matte liquid liner. Yes. I've heard really good stuff about this, like really good stuff on YouTube, like people love it. I'm here for it. And of course it's in black. Then we got a soft matte lip cream in the color Copenhagen. I think I have this color or do I? I don't know, but I like these, these soft matte lip creams. I, this is all I used to wear for a long time. Like London was my jam. And then we got, ooh. A suede lip liner in the color Copenhagen as well. Okay, okay. And these are full size, not samples. Okay, so from Walmart, I got this black bag to put um, Tiffany's birthday stuff in. And this is the card. Uh, I'm going to write some sentimental shit in it. But um, her favorite colors are red and black. That's why I got a black bag. And I got red tissue paper to go in it. And I also got a red bow. So yeah, coordinate. And I'll, be, I'll show y'all what I got her. And then show y'all what the bag looks like when I'm finished. And I got this um, revitalizing lotion. All this lotion for three bucks. Pretty good. And then I got some more uh, Witch Hazel. This is the only brand of Witch Hazel I use. I just can't help myself. I love it. It's really good. Then I also got the Dove Go Fresh. And this is, I don't know what it's supposed to smell like. Um, 
pear and aloe vera. It's like I have the bar soap and it smells so good, but they didn't have the bar at Walmart, so I had to get this. But this is my jam as well. Like, get this scent, get it. And then, you know, some cat food and some tampons. But I'm gonna go eat and get my life together, and I'll see you guys when I um do the makeup. All right. Okay, so I'm starting on getting Tiffany's birthday bag together, and this is what I got her. Before we started dating, she um she had a rainbow hat, a rainbow bucket hat, th like this. I think this is damn near the same one, but she doesn't have it anymore. Excuse the new makeup swatches. <laughs> so I found one on Amazon, and I thought this would be a cute gift for her. Um, and then I got her this... A Harley Quinn hence heat sensitive mug so basically it starts out um it starts off black and then once you put like your coffee or your tea in it it turns into this Harley Quinn thing and it goes with the um Harley Quinn wallet I gave her and yeah I just um even though we're like in a rough kind of I don't know what you would call it but um I ordered these gifts before we got to our the patch we're at now so i'm just gonna give it to her and hope for the best pretty much that's what it is right now so yeah let me get started on this bag okay so i was looking for this side the whole time if y'all couldn't tell but it starts off black like this and then once you put the hot liquid in it turns into this little harley and she has a little bomb and a melon i think it's so cute i should have got one for myself Okay, so this is how the gift bag turned out. I think it's perfect. It's very Harley Quinn and her favorite colors and all that. And another reason I got her the rainbow bucket hat, not one, because she lost it, obviously. I lost the original one. Two, like her, my favorite picture of her ever, like forever, ever, um, is in the rainbow bucket hat. Like she just looked really happy. And I want her to feel that happiness again. So that's why I got her the hat and the mug. She drinks tea and I thought it was cute because it was Harley, but yeah. So I'm going to go and do some stuff around the house and stuff. And once I get all that done, I'm going to start. I need to clean my brushes first. Then I'll start on the makeup look, which I have all the stuff laid out. And you probably can't tell what it's going to be just from that angle but I think I'm hoping it turns out the way I want it to but yeah so I will see you guys in a bit yo I am almost done thank god I'm tired of this I don't I don't care I think it's that one yeah okay Yay! I'm tired of this, but I'm so almost I'm almost done. And yeah, my laptop is touchscreen. Isn't that cool? Hey guys, so I finished all the ignition stuff. However, my printer, I need to get new ink cartridges. Like all the ones I got are so old, and the one that's in my mom's office is just it's trash. So now I'm going to Office Max to try to print this damn certificate. <laughs> I'm tired of college life already. All right, so the document is printed out finally. <sighs> and then I went to look at the printer cartridges and to get two of them is like $43. So I'm just gonna wait until not this next paycheck on the 26th, but the paycheck after that, I think I'll just go and get new printer cartridges or whatever for my printer. But um, yeah. I'm tired. <laughs> oh, God. And I want... I don't know what I want. I want something. Maybe I'll go home and eat ice cream. I don't know. But I gotta practice this makeup look. I know that. But I'll see y'all at the house. Hey, guys. So, this is the finished eye look I've been working on. If y'all can see it. There you go. There you go. I didn't do the whole face. I just wanted to see what it looked like with foundation and this lip. And I really like it, so I'm going to get to record it next week for my YouTube channel here, obviously. But yeah, um, all these glitters are Glam Me Out glitters. 
And yeah, it's a very festival. Come on, pollen. Come on, spring. <laughs> Alright, um, yeah. So now I'm just gonna take this off and chill for a second. Get my mind right for tomorrow. Alright guys, so I'm just gonna chill and relax and watch RuPaul and Jersey Shore and go to bed. So I will see y'all tomorrow. Alright guys, we made it to campus. I'm scared shitless. I'm gonna die. Almost had a breakdown in the car, but I had to keep listening to chants to, uh, you know, motivate me to keep going. But, uh, yeah, I'm scared. Okay, natural type of makeup. Looked pretty good when I left. And, uh, also, I don't think anyone believes I am here for orientation. Don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. registered student organizations. So again, I feel like you'll be able to go out there and find something that meets with your passions. Also, connect others who are here to help you. That might be a student who has been here a couple of years. Okay guys, so I have finished registering for classes. Just wanted to give y'all a glimpse of the campus right now. I'm out of breath. I've been walking a lot. That's the student center. Um, yeah, it's a really big campus, like huge. Okay, so I registered for classes. I talked to some advisors or whatever. Um, I saw that I was classified as a junior here. That was cool. And um, that's basically it. I have nothing else to do. I can go get food. And it's free food, but I don't know. I kind of just want to go home, sort of, kind of. I don't know. But yeah. Um, the registration was really organized. I could say that. Like, it was really organized. Um, trying to remember from. They used the same system as USCG did. So, that was cool. Uh, I got to see, like, how far I was in my degree as well. And, um, they took, a, they took us by major, and then they did first year in transfers, and they had three advisors in there, which was really good. If someone had a question, there was an advisor usually, and there weren't that many of us in there, so that was good. Got to get some advice and all that, um, and they were very helpful. So in the summer, I'm taking chemistry in a wellness class. Yeah. But yeah, I'm taking chemistry and wellness, and then in the fall, I'm taking econ, I think English, math, and chemistry. I think that's what I'm taking. Don't quote me on that. I'll have better. I'm going to look at it again and see. But, um, yeah, this experience has been cool. It was kind of bittersweet because I remember coming to UNCG's with my dad and having that person there to kind of help guide you a little bit, even though they can't be kind of separate, but it still was like... I knew I would meet up with him and see him later in the day. So doing this by myself is like, oh my gosh, I'm an adult. Like, no one's there to like hold your hand or say, oh, it's gonna be okay. So yeah. That part was a little difficult. But other than that, it's standard registration or whatever, it's been, um, ID picture and all that and yeah they use um, Bannerweb which I think every college pretty much uses those now and it's very e it's easy to use kind of intuitive or whatever so yeah um, I think I'm just gonna go home because I don't even know can I even eat now no it's only 10 so I can't even eat so I guess I'll just go home 
and stop and get something like on the way home that way I can just eat it I guess I don't know I'll see y'all I forgot to show y'all my um student ID so this is what it gets if you go to the school this is what you're gonna get and it's like a credit card kind of sort of that's why I'm hiding like all the information but yeah that could have did my picture a little better but it's cool it's cool okay so basically when we got to registration you went in and got a name tag and you got a wristband which I still have on actually y'all can see it yeah I need to take it off but that got you basically in there to eat lunch or whatever and I probably should have went in there just to look around but honestly when they told me I could go I was like all right I'm out but um yeah so you um parking was free you parked in a parking deck and they had people in white KSU shirts helping you to basically know where to go but <laughs> see I was behind the family like this son and his mom and dad were there so they were telling them all the directions and I just kind of overheard and just kept following them <laughs> so yeah and I don't think anybody I don't know I I think because I was by myself they either were like oh she'll figure it out and follow them or she's a student here either way it's fine it's cool I found my way appreciate it so then um we went to the student center and you got, what did you get? You went in there, you got a name tag, you got a wristband, you got your ID photo taken, you signed up for parking, and um, then you went into the auditorium and that is where they had panel discussion. They had one panel discussion, they showed us two videos, um, one with the president of the university and one about the um, our student ID and our student card or whatever. Um, and then they had an advisor come talk to us. Uh, then we broke off into groups. They did it by major basically, um, which was also on your name tag. So you didn't have to go searching for it. It was right there and they went by letters. So my major is biology. So I went with the science. Then they split that group up from fresh first years that have never been to college and then transfers. And obviously I'm in the transfer group. And um, the people that helped me, the advisors, they were really helpful. They had a great knowledge of what was going on. I was able to register. I only had like, one issue, and um, the advisor was able to fix that. And then after that, kind of got lost with this dude. Um, we both were trying to leave. Both, Yeah, we were both trying to leave, and we got turned around. But then there was a, a guy that was able to help us, and... We got back to the student center. I tried to make a friend with him. He was a little awkward, but still cool. But you know, after I got my ID, I was like, okay, I gotta go. But um, after I got my ID, still got a little turned around. Uh, asked one of the ignition leaders, that's what they call it, um, for help. She was able to take somebody and tell me basically either I can go eat and then leave or just leave now. And, you know, since I can't eat till 12, I just decided to leave. So yeah, that's where we are. Um, I think when I registered for UNCG, I had to stay there. Like, it was days there. But I think that's because I was a freshman. Now I don't have to do that, so I don't have anything to can really compare it to. Um, the one at UNCG, yeah, it's two, it's hours and four
right since now the wind has calmed down um there's yeah i'm not doing much uh and i did have a rough start this morning just because okay i drive my mom's car and usually i don't have an issue doing things i need to do because she just takes the escalate but you know some days she uh changes her mind and lets her husband drive the escalate and then takes the car i drive and today was one of those days and she decided to get an attitude with me as if she asked me what i have going on or anything like that like they never they talk about i don't know how to communicate but i learned from them so yeah so that was a whole thing and i was in my feelings this morning because she didn't even like i told her i was doing for class and she didn't say like anything encouraging like oh yay or that's great or nothing and i was like well damn still your daughter even if you don't want me here but so that had me like in my feelings a little bit and then on top of that seeing like people there with their parents and all that it was like i'm really by myself so that just it was a little rough but uh, I talked to Tiffany about it, and I feel a little better. And I also talked to my dad and my aunt. So that made me feel better. So yeah, now I'm just going to uh, take pictures and go get food and then go home. If anything exciting happens, I'll be sure to bring the camera out. But if not, go check my Instagram for the pictures. To like to be an Ebony, just like this channel. And don't forget, please don't forget to like, comment, like, comment, subscribe, and share these videos so our channel can grow. I really want to get to, by the time I start school, I want to have a good number of subscribers. I don't want to say a specific number, but I want to have a good start. And, you know, so y'all can go on this new journey with me and share and hopefully it'll help somebody else in the same position who deciding to go back to school or not yeah so please help this channel grow and when i get to 100 subscribers i think i'm gonna do a giveaway so remember this video and i don't know what i'm gonna give away but remember this so yeah like comment share subscribe all that good jazz and i will see you guys in the next one